Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It's time to talk about insertion loss and return loss. So insertion loss and return loss are two measurements you can make with an RF network analyzer. So just imagine we have a, a mystery device. This is an RF device. So this thing here, it has a, an input and an output. So this is uh, power goes in here and power comes out of here. So of the power that goes in, how much of it actually comes out, how much of it gets reflected, and how much of it stays inside here? That's the question. And uh, insertion loss and return loss are ways of measuring those things. So here's a filter. There's a filter, there's an input and an output. So input here, output here. And if you want to know the ratio of output power to input power, you can look at it like this, right? P out over P in, that's the ratio of output to input power. You can figure out the percentage of power that actually gets through this thing by finding out P out over P in multiplied by 100 for the percentage. So you can do that if you want to. If you have a, an antenna, you can't really have an output. You can't connect it to something to the output. You can feed power in to the input, but you can't measure how much comes out because it's, it's launching out into space. You can measure how much gets reflected though. So you feed power into here, measure how much comes out, and if you measure how much comes back as a reflection, then you can figure, well, if you know if 10% 10, 10 comes back, then 90% or maybe a little bit less is getting radiated out. So still, there's a ratio. It's the reflected power compared to the input power. So that's ratio of reflected to input power. So now, you can express these ratios, so here's the first one we were talking about, output to input power, and here's the other one, uh, reflected to input power. You can express them not as linear fractions, but as dB. So the dB ratio of output to input power is called insertion loss. And the dB ratio of reflected to input power is return loss. And these are the things that the network analyzer measures. So you connect the network analyzer, to your device that you're testing and it will give you a value in dB which will be insertion loss or return loss. So imagine this, what if insertion loss is 0 dB? So you have your mystery device and you have power goes in and power goes out. If insertion loss is 0 dB, if insertion loss is 0 dB that would mean that P out is equal to P in minus 0 dB. That's what that means. But if you know what about decibels, if something is 0 dB less, so that means input power is 0 dB less than output power. That means if something is 0 dB less, it means it's the same. So what does that mean? What that really means is we don't really... We don't really need that other part. We just say P out is equal to P in. So if insertion loss is 0 dB, that means there is no loss. That means P out is the same as P in. It just goes straight through. Okay. So what if, what if insertion loss was 6 dB? Well, if that were the case, then you could say that P out is equal to P in minus 6 dB. That's what that means. But then, if you if you know about dBs, then you know that P out is equal to P in minus 3 minus 3 dB. And if you know about dB, then you know that every time you subtract 3 dB, it's the same as dividing by 2. So, you have P in and you're subtracting 3 dB, so that means you're dividing P in by 2. And then you're subtracting 3 dB again, it means you're dividing by 2 again. So, what would that mean? That means that P out is equal to P in divided by 2, divided by 2 again. What does that mean? That means... That means that P out is equal to 1 quarter... P in. So if that's true, if P out is a quarter of P in, 
then the percentage of power that gets through is what? It's going to be a quarter, 25% gets through, right? Okay. Here's a return loss question. Well, return loss is 0 dB. Hmm. Well, I've, I've kind of forgotten. I've forgotten what return loss is, so I'll write my formula again. Return loss is the dB ratio, so it's 10 log of reflected to the power that goes in. Okay, so if return loss is 0 dB, that would mean that if, if return loss, if return loss is 0 dB, that means that P reflected is equal to P in minus 0 dB. That's what that means. So if power reflected is power in minus 0 dB, we've already done this. If you subtract 0 dB, you're not subtracting anything. That means power reflected equals power in. So that means power reflected equals power in. And that would mean 100% reflected if return loss is 0 dB. But what if it was 16 dB? So, same, you solve it in the same way. That means reflected power is equal to input power minus 16 dB. But if you know about dB, then you know that reflected power would be input power minus 10 minus 3, minus 3 dB, and that would be P in. Whenever you subtract 10 dB, it's the same as dividing by 10. Whenever you subtract 3 dB, it's the same as dividing by 2. So, if you're subtracting 10 dB, it's like dividing by 10. Subtract 3 dB, divide by 2, 3 more dB, divide by 2 again. So, That's going to be, what is it? So divided by 10, divided by 2, divided by 2, that's over 10, over 20, over 40. 1 over 40 of P in. That means if the return loss was 16 dB, that means the reflected power would be 1 40th of the input power. There you go. So here is insertion loss. This is insertion loss. This is a insertion loss versus frequency for a filter. There you go, filter. So you can look at this here, and you look at the insertion loss is 0 dB right here. That means in this range, the signal is being passed with very little loss. And right around markers 1 and 2, that's the uh, corner frequencies. And we look at this very low loss here. And then down here at marker 3, we have 30 dB insertion loss. So the signal is being passed in here because the loss is close to 0. And then over here, the signal is being rejected by the filter, and very little signal is getting passed. So that means insertion loss equals 30 dB here, let's see, there. Insertion loss is equal to 30 dB. That means P out is equal to P in minus 30 dB. And if you know about dBs, that means it's one thousandth of the power is getting through. Not a lot of power getting through. So here's another, uh, this is return loss now. So I'll say return loss versus frequency. This is for an antenna. And if you look up here, you'll see that the reference is minus 12. That means this line means 12 dB return loss. That means below the line, down here, the antenna has better than 12 dB return loss. And above the line, over here, at these frequencies, it's uh, worse than that. So if you look at marker 1, what do you see? 2 dB per division. This is 12 dB, so that's 12, 14, 16... 18, so this is about 17 dB return loss, right at that marker. 17 dB return loss. So here, you could say, return loss 
17 B B. Okay, that means power reflected is equal to input power minus 17 dB. And if you know about dB, then that's going to be input power. Uh, the reflected signal will be 17 dB less, and then you can work out the percentage of power that's reflected. So to review, the insertion loss is the dB ratio of output to input power, and return loss is the dB ratio of reflected to input power. Simple as that.